Hello friends, welcome to Take Dose and in this video I will be showing what are characters, constants and variables in Prolog. So first we will get started with characters. So in characters we have two types of characters. One is printing characters and another one is non-printing characters. So first we see it's a printing character and second one is non-printing characters. So what are the printing characters? The first one in this category are the uppercase characters from A to Z. Second one are the lowercase characters from A to Z. Third one are the digits 0, 1, 2 till 9. And the fourth one are the special characters like star, minus, oops, I this slash, forward slash, backward slash, this negation, this and, less than, greater than and so on. These all are the special characters. So the printing characters are basically of four types. The uppercase characters, the lowercase characters, the digits from 0 to 9 and the special characters. Okay. So what about the non-printing characters? So you might have guessed that the if we give a blank space it will not get printed but we get a space so blank space is a non printing character and another one is a new line when we give enter then it comes to new line and it's a non printing character as well because it is not shown on the screen another one is a beeping sound okay it is not printed but we can hear the beeping sound so this is all about characters and next we shall see about the constants. Constants are basically of two types. One are the numbers and second are the atoms. Okay. Second are the atoms. So constants are of two types. Numbers you must be knowing that minus 17 is a number, 18 is a number, 1.01, E2 is a number which is equals to 1.01 .01 into 10 to the power 2 you must be knowing this 67 is a number 1.01 1 .01 e minus 2 is also a number which is equals to 1.01 .01 into 10 to the power minus 2 so these all are the numbers and now we shall see the atoms the atoms can be further divided into two types one we call it type 1 just for the naming and the second we call it type 2 ok so the type 1 atoms contains letters plus digits ok so what are the rules for this type of atom it must start with the beginning with lowercase letters ok so the atoms must start with the lowercase letter in case of a single quote it can have any combination of characters like for example for beginning with lowercase character suppose I write Abhi or Dev these are all starting with the lowercase letters and so they are type 1 atoms and we can call them atoms ok but if we give like Dev then this is not a atom it's a variable I will be showing you variable in after constants ok so this is not an atom if we give single code then we can have any combination of characters like if we give single code dev then this is an atom okay so this single code basically denotes that it is an atom whatever we write inside okay so i will show you some examples let us first see type 2 atoms and so the type 2 only contains the signs okay only the special characters like star minus plus this is an atom okay like into forward slide backward slide this is also an atom let us see some examples okay it will clear you like if i write matt preston then guess what is it an atom if i give it a single quote then is it an atom 
yes this one is an atom okay and this is a special character inside in the type one type of atoms we cannot have special characters but special characters can only be present if we are giving this single quotation i already told you that the single quotation will allow any combination of characters that also includes the special characters so this matt preston this minus symbol is also a special oh sorry no not a special this is also an atom okay but if i remove this single quotation then i will be writing matt preston okay and this is a minus symbol not an underscore even if it would have been an underscore it would not have been qualified to become an atom because this is a special character here okay so this is not an atom because only we can have type 1 atoms only letters plus digits and type 2 atoms only signs but no letters or and no digits but if we have single quotation marks then we can have any combination of characters okay let us see another example urc 2018 this is a valid atom because it is beginning with the lower case letter okay and it can have letter plus digit so it is a type 1 atom but if i write 2018 urc then even if it is a combination of letters plus digits but this rule beginning with the lower case has not been satisfied because it is beginning with the digit so this is not an atom i hope you must have understood by now and let us see one more example if we write 2018 urc and give it a single quotation mark then this is a perfect atom why why because if we give the single quotation mark then whatever we give inside that doesn't matter it is always an atom okay this question mark okay not this circle only the question mark this stands for denotes you must be knowing this denotes and this one without this in excluding this circle this one stands for rules okay in prolog and these two are atoms okay so this is all about constants and next we shall see what are variables variables are just like the constants but with the only rule that the name begins with an upper case or an underscore so here name begins with either an upper case letter okay or an underscore so let us see some examples the examples are answer okay next example is underscore name this is valid this is also valid okay now you must be thinking that this is a smaller case letter so it should have been a constant but since it is starting with an underscore it is not a constant if i give a single quotation mark then it becomes a it becomes an atom and hence a constant okay if i write three musketeers what's the spelling i hope the spelling is right <laughs> the three musketeers it's also a variable okay because it's it's starting with an underscore if i write ice then this is also a variable because this one is a capital letter if i write small i this or uh, lower case i then this is a constant an atom okay so this is all about variables next we shall see anonymous variable in our next video if you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos thank you